Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for coming back for another motivational cleaning video. Today I am cleaning my entire house starting in the morning into the late evening, all day serious cleaning motivation. Every single one of the rooms and bathrooms will be clean today. I have loads of laundry to put away and organize in each room. Since the kids are back to school, having everything organized makes mornings so much easier. I'm also going to be decluttering a little, organizing a couple of areas along the way, and hitting a few neglected spaces as I go. Now this video is the longest I've ever uploaded. It's always requested that I make longer cleaning videos, so this one's for you guys. It's extreme cleaning motivation start to finish, so make sure you guys stay tuned until the end so you can see the beautiful end result of all my hard work. I hope you guys like it. Give it a thumbs up if you do. And with all that said, let's get started. Starting off in my kitchen with clearing off the countertops of things that don't belong. This was right after breakfast, well brunch. We don't always eat straight away in the morning. I'm moisturizing my hands and putting on my latex gloves. If you haven't tried the Working Hands hand cream, I highly suggest it, especially while cleaning. I'm clearly in a good mood once the music is right. If not, I notice I always make a face like, okay, that's not it. The kids and I have a playlist of songs that we listen to while cleaning. They're cleaning the living room area while I clean the kitchen, so all I have to do is wipe down surfaces when I'm done. Oh girl, the last two weeks have been chaos. My house was in shambles before I did all that laundry last night. Ruby came home with a bug again from her grandparents' house on her dad's side. Both the little ones woke up the next night throwing up. I was praying that it wasn't going to hit me, but it did, and I felt like I had the flu all over again for about 12 hours, but during that time, I cleaned the bathrooms with bleach, I sprayed everything down with my homemade Lysol, disinfected every light switch, knob, and handle. I spoke about this in my vlog, it's going to be up I think before this video. I was thinking, can I get a break one time? It was horrific. Started to fall. So to clean my countertops, I'm using the Method Granite Cleaner and a damp cloth. I go over my countertops twice and then with a dry cloth to buff it dry. I could just use a microfiber cloth, but I feel like it doesn't look as shiny. I'm cleaning off the bar stools front and back and then I'm going over them with a dry cloth. These bar stools are from Ikea. The day I went to buy them new, I was only going to purchase three and then I spotted these four in the as is section, brand new, already put together. I think the original price for them is $89 and I grabbed these for $49 a piece. I ended up getting four and saving $100. You guys, what do you think about the backsplash? This is temporary, by the way, meaning it can be removed. I ordered it on Amazon. One pack has 10 12 inch sheets. I ordered four and only used almost three. I was leaving room for error because I'm not good at things like this. So far, it's still on strong, it hasn't budged, so I'd recommend it as a renter friendly way to spruce up your kitchen or even your bathroom. There's a bunch of different styles too. This costed me under $100. I don't know how much a real backsplash is, but I like it. I can wipe it clean and it looks nice to me. I also put under cabinet lighting in. You'll see that later in the video. Time to clean the stove top. It's not that bad, but I want to share these new products I've been using. I think I bought these at Walmart or on Amazon. Anyways, I quit using the Method Heavy Duty Degreaser because one of my followers mentioned it says on the bottle, do not use on glass stove tops. So many of us were doing that because I received a lot of messages after I passed that info along. Since then, I have not used it at all. The spray that I have is more for light work and the creamy one I like with the sponge because it's creamy. It also does a good job cleaning the stove top, but for a burnt on food, I use my razor. This is a new one because I broke the last one in the bathroom.
Now I'm finally organizing this closet that's supposed to hold majority of my cleaning supplies. I purchased some organizational baskets at Target and they were already in there but I just haven't gotten to it until now. I'm taking everything out so I can see what I have and figure out how I'm going to make it work. Some of the products I have are new or recently purchased. I have some in the laundry room that I'm going to get out to. I'd like to keep only laundry related products in there. This closet makes more sense to hold my supplies. That's one reason why I miss my apartment because the laundry room was right off the kitchen and it was kind of in the middle of everything and easy access. I added in another shelf that's so high enough for my vacuum and mops to go under. The floor was a little dirty so I'm going to vacuum it and then position the baskets then nicely organize it. Sultan just got a new iPad the day before I filmed this video and I ordered a case for it right away. Ruby also got a new durable case for her iPhone so of course they wanted me to immediately put them on so that's what I did because I don't want them to break them. I finally have a cleaning closet you guys. Up top I have majority of my products. The ones that I use more often are towards the front. Some extras and other things underneath. I have dusting things, gloves, extra magic erasers my caddy that holds my daily cleaning and some extra sponges, brushes, and miscellaneous items in the other basket. At the bottom, I have my shark, spray mop, mop head replacements, mopping slippers, trash bags, and vacuum attachments. There's also a step stool and some extra backsplash sheets. These items are going into my car. The laundry room now has laundry products only. The iron, the steamer, also some extra toilet paper, empty glass bottles, and a large container of dish soap that actually goes into the garage. It's for washing my car. Clearly, the kids haven't done very much since their cases came in the mail. They sat right back down and started playing again. I have a few dishes in the sink left over to hand wash and then I'm going to start decorating. I had to get them up and back into gear. I knew by the time I started to really clean, someone was going to want a snack. And since the girls have been back to school, they have been eating way more. Amir hasn't started school yet, but he will soon. At Walmart, I came across this new brand as seen on OWN, so I'm giving the dish soap and the multi-surface spray a try. I like the size of the bottle and the shape. The lavender scent is really nice. There is also a rosemary one, and I think I saw a lemon one too. I decided to immediately dry the first batch of dishes because I didn't have room for the second. The little brushes I'm using to wash the water bottles and straws are from Target. I recommend these for cleaning the inside of kids water bottles and sippy cups. Trust me, the dishwasher isn't cutting it. You gotta get in there good because mold and buildup will grow and it's just gross. I've seen it. Since then, this is how I wash them.
in this box I have the decor that I've been collecting to add some color into our home. I went with a lot of mustard, yellows, and marigold tones. I felt like the white, black, gray, tan was a little bit boring. Most of what's in here is from Amazon and a few items are from Target. I got some fake lemons from my fruit basket. We keep most of our fruit in the fridge. I love my rose gold fruit basket so I'd like to keep it on the counter. They never go off but I'm sure Emir is going to eventually mess with them. This is from Amazon. I think it's for cheese or butter. I just see it as a trinket. I don't think I'll actually use this. The owl utensil holder is from Amazon. It reminds me of these two owl ornaments that my mom has in her house since I was a kid. They were hanging in the hallway. These remind me of them a lot. These are the cabinet lightings that I went with. I ordered 12 on Amazon. Six are already installed at the bottom, so I'm putting the other six at top. I plan to properly decorate the top of the cabinetry. Fall is coming, so I'll figure something out. Right now, there's just random stuff up there. I was ready to put the rugs down, but I have to sweep and mop, and that I'll do at the end. I love these rugs so much. They're from Target, and they look so good in my kitchen. Moving on to this entryway. Okay, we have a lot of shoes. Some are being decluttered, washed, and stored for hand-me-downs. A lot of them are new. Each kid got three to four new pairs of shoes for school, so it's a lot. They're really disorganized too. The insides were all dirty. I've been wanting to do this for a while. There's a box in the garage full of shoes that I need to go through and I need to figure it out soon, but I've been putting that off because I'm scared of spiders. Somebody mentioned not to keep the shoes in the garage because spiders will live in them, and since then, I just can't. I'm using Endust to clean off the consoles, then I'm organizing the shoes back in. These consoles are from Ikea and I love them. They're two side by side and obviously all our shoes can't fit in here. I definitely needed like three or four. I was thinking about getting some from my closet. I just love how much space is saved and the look of them is very sleek. My glass table is from article.com. It's the Trina Oak. I love it. It's a beautiful dining table, but it always has fingerprints on it. It's very hard to keep clean. I went with glass because it won't scratch or stain, and I have to say this is the hardest thing to clean in my house. Well, the shower in my bathroom and putting the couch covers on is also a workout, but I can put those things off. This has to be cleaned two, three times a day sometimes. I added another chair to the table, so now we have five seats. There are actually four new chairs. One of them is an old one. I went with the same style, just way better quality. The ones that I bought first were $20 a piece, and I think these were $90, but I have not had any issues with the legs coming unscrewed. The better quality made a huge difference. My octagon wall shelf is from Birch Lane, and I love it. Just not sure how to decorate it yet. It doesn't need much. I went back and forth, but still wasn't 100% happy. This shelf in the corner over here, I also go back and forth with and never really know what to do with it. The blue vases are going to be painted white, and I'll either keep them there or move them on top of the cabinet tree. The color of them wasn't what I was expecting. I found this home key hang thing on Amazon. I thought it was so cute. I was going to put it by the door, but I liked it in the hallway coming in from the garage. There was already an existing screw there from a shelf that I had up. I had to take it down for the security system installation. 
I took a break and took the couch covers off. I'm putting those to wash. I'm using the Tide detergent pods that I picked up at Publix recently. I went with the free and clear because I love the scent of these Method scent beads. The teal ones are so good too. I was told I couldn't use these in my machine, but sure enough, someone corrected me and said I could use them. So I'm enjoying my scents again. In the girls room i folded some laundry the night before and we'll be putting everything away their room needs a little tidy too actually the room was very dusty so i ended up doing that as well the beds need to be made and girl listen it's late at night i'm recording this voiceover so i'm taking a break from chatting i'll come back here and there everything is pretty self-explanatory so enjoy the music and if you like it make sure you check the description they're always linked
into my room now. I have more folded laundry and clothing to put away and organize. Gotta make my bed, throw away some tags and tape from clothing that was recently purchased. My vanity is up, just have to organize my makeup in there. I'll be wiping down all the surfaces in here before moving into the bathroom that needs to be deep cleaned. Amir came and cuddled up next to me. He always asked for milk, breast milk. He's been weaned for two years and still asked for milk, almond milk, cow's milk, orange juice, honey. I'm like, boy, if you don't get your little hands off me, <laughs> the boob is empty. He still tries every day and he always puts his little hands in my shirts, especially when I read to him. Or if I just sit next to him, he thinks one day I'll say, okay, the boy misses his milk. In case you're wondering, I have changed my sheets several times, mostly because Emir was getting sick on my bed. But yeah, I put the kitty sheets back on to match my new quilt, which I love. It's the Opal House brand at Target, and it is very heavy. I noticed that while I picked it up to put it into the cart, and I thought maybe it was because it's folded up, but it's weighted and stays really cool at night. I love the color and pattern so much. Oh, by the way, my bed is a queen for everyone that's been saying it's a twin. Girl, bye. My kids' beds are twins. This is a full queen and all my linens are queen. So petty saying I have to be single because my bed is a twin. Right. With my pillow side by side, can't do that with a twin.
So in my bathroom, I sped through this first part because I'm using Clorox and Scrub Bubbles, my love-hate products. That's why I'm wearing a mask. I'm doing my same routine as I always do while cleaning my bathroom. I have to use Clorox in my shower because the buildup just won't go away if I don't. I had the fan on but still rushed through it and took several breaks to breathe. My rugs were washed the night before, I'm just putting them back down. I'm not gonna lie, when the fumes from the chemicals dispersed, it actually smelled really nice and clean in there. <laughs> Brings back memories to when I used to use bleach for everything before pregnancy and kids. I'm vacuuming my floors now. Under my bed is always dusty. I haven't vacuumed under there in a while. I don't do it very often. I'm not mopping the bedrooms today, just the living areas and kitchen and hallways. I still have to break down the couch and vacuum that whole area of the house. My couch covers were dry, so I put them back on. They were wrinkled because I forgot to use the wrinkle-free setting, so I ended up steaming the whole thing.
honestly don't know how I had the energy to mop after cleaning the couch. I stopped and ate, the kids were at the playground with their dad, I was going off to music that I can't listen to around the kids. Also, I'm super determined to get all of my cleaning done. Once I start, it snowballs. Yeah, I'm a little sore sometimes the next day, but not any more than I would be after my little workouts. I don't clean like this every day, just like once a week. Some weeks I skip things depending on my schedule, but for filming, I go the extra mile because I know you guys love these videos and they're still my most popular and fun to create. They are a lot of work, not just the actual cleaning. Producing these videos after the clean is more fun for me because it's like creating a game. Then when I get to the music part, I'm even more excited. My least favorite part about video making is voiceovers. Yes, as much as I talk, I would rather be silent. I used to be silent, but it was highly requested that I speak and explain certain things, which is understandable. Right now, it's about midnight, close to 1 in the morning, and I'm already thinking about editing music when I actually need to go to sleep. But yeah, you guys, thank you so much for making it this far into the video. I dearly appreciate you guys that watch all the way until the end. To clean the outside of my couch, I'm using a scrub brush and the Method glass cleaner. And I have my last little bit of decor to put out before mopping. After I'm done here, I'm going to fold the last bit of laundry, put it away, and I'll share my progress so far with a few clips. Then I'll have to tidy up my office and clean the kids' bathroom and finally mop.
I always clean the kids tub last or the next day because I use it to dump the dirty water while mopping. That is it for this video. The last thing I'm doing is starting my cleaning cloths. I have pollo waiting for me in the kitchen and the bathtub is calling me. I always wash my cleaning cloths on the highest setting with an extra rinse to make sure they're super clean. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and I'll make more like this. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you all in my next video.